exactly. And, you know, Richard, that's a beautiful thing you're saying, because Ed Tronic has a new book coming out with a colleague. Um, I think her name is something gold. Beautiful book. I think it's called like The Power of Discord or something like that. I forgot the name of the book. But it's a beautiful book. And it, um, basically, he says just what you're saying, that kids develop resilience when they realize the inevitable ruptures in our connections with them can be I think the formal scientific term is repaired mm. and, and that's okay. But you know, it's this reconnection that you establish after there's a disconnection. So that's the first S safety. And we start with that and it's a hard one to start with, but we wanted to, because, you know, it's so crucial that parents take a deep breath and go, you know, I think I have been terrifying my kid. I don't mean to, mm -hmm. but I've been doing it and let me try to learn, you know? Yeah. And um, the second S is about something a little more subtle but just as significant, it's called SEEN, S-E-E-N, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it relates to this word mindsight, you know, that I developed as a word to save my life when I was in medical school and none of my professors seemed to have it, you know, <laughs> seeing people's feelings or thoughts or the subjective experience of meaning making or your story or all that stuff. And when I was told in medical school, stop asking your patients how they feel. It's like, why? And they go, that's not what doctors do. You know, and then years later, we'd find out, in fact, that's what doctors should do because it improves the immune function of the patient. It actually can even help them get over their cold a day sooner. Um, so we connect with each other, these energy and information fields when you're empathically tuning into the internal world of the other, that's called being seen. You're using your mindset networks in your own brain to make a map of the internal subjective experience of the other. So, you know, new, newer terms are things like mentalization, reflective function, mind mindedness, psychological mindedness. A slightly older term would be theory of mind. Um, all those not exactly the same, but you know, they're getting in the same ballpark. Yeah. Um, so being seen means you're using your mind sight networks so that you see beneath the behavior of your child. And the research is really clear when children are seen, they feel felt. They experience being known by you. And what that experience teaches your child is there is an inner world beneath the world of behavior a world of emotion, of meaning, of thought, of memory, that's really significant, even though we may label it as subjective experience, it is objectively the most important part of our lives. So we get in trouble with the words we have, oh, that's just subjective experience, as scientists will say. Well, the true science of health is that your subjective life is the most important part objectively of your objective well-being <laughs> you know so it's like no, right. the words get in the way right so that's what being seen is and and you can teach people mindset it's a learnable skill thank you for tuning in to the science of psychotherapy please like this video subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so that we can reach more people and bring you more science of psychotherapy and if you're a mental health professional check us out at the science of psychotherapy.com.